Hi, future GISPs. I'm going to teach you everything that I learned to easily pass the GISP exam so that you don't have to spend years reading textbooks, getting degrees, paying for prep courses, and searching the internet for information like I did. In this video, I'm going to teach you everything I learned about data integration. Data integration is the fourth section under the data manipulation category of the GISCI Geospatial for Technical Exam list of knowledge categories. Let's get started with section 504, data integration. Data integration. Data integration combines data from multiple sources into one unified view. Concatenation. Concatenation is the integration of two or more different data sources such that all the contents of each are accessible in the product. Conflation. Conflation replaces two or more versions of the same information with a single version that reflects the pooling or weighted averaging of the sources. Extract, transform, and load, or ETL. Extract, transform, and load is the standard methodology for integrating data across systems. ETL originated with the emergence of relational databases that stored data in tables for analysis. Old systems typically stored data in transactional databases that did not lend well to analytics. These old systems often resulted in long tables with repeated entries. ATL tools were developed to automatically convert transactional data into relational data with interconnected tables. The basic methodology for ETL is a three-step process. First, extract the data from the source. Second, transform the data into the format used by the target system. And third, load data to the final storage point and format. A data pipeline. A data pipeline is a method where raw data is ingested from data sources, transformed, and then stored in a data lake or data warehouse for analysis. It's basically a diagram for an ETL workflow. A data warehouse. A data warehouse is a central repository of integrated data from one or more disparate sources. Its purpose is to support various data-related activities including analysis and report creation that help decision makers draw insights from their data and make decisions. A data warehouse is often created by an ETL pipeline. You'll find much more information related to data integration in other sections. In an effort to keep this series as short as possible, information in other sections isn't duplicated here. See Section 208, Knowledge of Spatial Data Standards, including ISO, FGDC, and OGC for data transfer standards. See Section 403, Knowledge of Automated Data Collection and Conversion Methods 
for more on ETL. C section 503, understanding of spatial file types and their applications and limitations for more on data transfer formats. Now you know everything that I learned about data integration to easily pass the GISP exam. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I can keep helping people pass the GISP exam and achieve the rewarding careers in GIS that they deserve. You can also find everything I learned to pass the GISP exam in my book, The Ultimate GISP Exam Study Guide, available on Amazon. My study guide is an easily understandable, comprehensive, graphical, all-in-one resource for passing the exam. You can find the link to my study guide in the description below. Thanks for joining me and congratulations in advance on passing the GISP exam. Thank you.